Hi guys, my mum always rings me uh, in the morning and this morning, this Monday morning is no exception and we've had a taxi that almost crashed head on into a, another car I no, I haven't got much money. I spent a lot of money yesterday trying to enjoy myself on the one occasion that I have so far in a couple of months with some actual company not stuck in my flat uh, with men trying to get me to go outside and meet people that I don't want to meet. That's why I've deleted the dating sites. And I'm getting a barrage of messages off of TikTok that I just completely ignore. So my mum's called. She usually says, Janestra, have a good day. Let's hear my mum's voice uh, message uh, this morning, Monday. And this is Jennifer speaking on the phone to me. Two new messages and 26 saved messages. First new message received yesterday at 8.13 p.m. Good evening, Janessa. This is your mum, Jennifer, speaking for my landline phone. I've been asleep. I've just woken up and I've phoned you straight away, thinking of you, Janessa. I was asleep in my flat alone yesterday as well. Or Jennifer. left for me, Jennifer, and I'm sure it hit same to you. So thinking of you, Janestra, I'll give you a telephone call tomorrow. You aren't forgotten. Okay, Janestra, bye for now. Good night. God bless. Message deleted. Next new message. Received today at 9.27 a.m. Hello, Janestra, giving you the usual, usual daytime telephone call from my, my landline phone to you, Janestra. Hope you have a good Monday. Thinking of you. And I'll give you another ring later on this afternoon. I hadn't put anything in the post until today because I hadn't been able to get down to the post box. But I've put something in the post today, so you should get it either tomorrow or Wednesday. Okay, Janessa? Goodbye. I'll ring you again later. Bye. Twitter message deleted. Money. She said she's put some money in the post today I've told her not to do that um what happens is my mum's nice over the phone to me it sounds like she's a wonderful woman and then when I get into mm -hmm. her to my mum's flat it's not very nice at all it's not nice the other day when I went up there um, it was cold and she had it was freezing cold and she had two cold air fans on and she complains about it being cold but why has she got two cold air fans on and you know, it's like I go in there and I'm not having a repeat of what happened two Christmases ago. I'm not a young person. I'm not in my 20s. I'm not in my 30s. I'm in my 50s. And I've just read that piece last night, actually, and it almost, I, I nearly cried. I thought, I've done nothing wrong to anybody. I'd give my last piece of food to somebody why why was that done to me it's absolutely disgusting and i'm made out to be the villain and it's not me i'm the victim and in most cases when people fight for justice and truth they are victims trying to speak out and they are silenced for speaking the truth and um yeah I realise what's been going on. I realise what's been done. There's nothing I can do about it. But I deserve an apology and compensation. And that's what I'm fighting for. And for other people. 
the ones that don't talk, the ones that can't speak, the ones that are terrified of being murdered for speaking the truth. See you later.